Hey, what's going on guys? Today on the channel, we're gonna be talking about macOS Sonoma 14.2. So this version came out at the beginning of this week here as I'm recording it here in December. And on my 2018 MacBook Air, this update came in at 1.52 gigabytes. So let me know what size update it was on your computer. But anyways, this is finally a pretty good feature update here. We also saw a bunch of new features with iOS, iPadOS, even tvOS got some changes this time around, and watchOS of course. So anyways, we're going to be talking about the Mac today, so let's go ahead and jump in here and show you everything new in Sonoma 14.2. Okay, the first thing we'll talk about here is Apple has thrown in some additional wallpapers for us, so if we go into system settings and we go to the wallpaper section, we can scroll down and we will find some new wallpapers okay so they're down here in the picture section so they have all these new ones here so we have pro black hello metallic silver metallic blue purple pink orange yellow green and these are all the ones that were released on the new m3 macbooks that just were announced so we can click on this pro black here obviously for the new uh, what do they call it? Space black color on the MacBook. So uh, there you go. You can have those wallpapers here. Next thing we'll talk about has to do with PDFs. So we saw this added to iPad OS and iOS, but now we have enhanced autofill on PDFs and other forms. So it allows you to populate them with information from your contacts. So if we had a PDF in the preview application, it would automatically kind of pull some of our information into the file and just autofill it for us to make things a little bit more uh, easier when working with a PDF. Also, there are several updates to the Messages app, so we saw these again here on iOS. But a few things to note here, there's a new catch-up arrow that lets you easily jump to the first unread message in a conversation. Now, I think you have to have like a ton of unread messages, probably 20 plus in order to actually get that to appear, but that is now available. Also, there's a new sticker option that allows you to add a sticker directly to a message bubble of your choice. So if you hold down on a bubble, you can then just hit add a sticker instead of having to go through the keyboard and hitting the emoji button and going to your stickers and all that, just to make that process a little bit quicker. Also, the other thing, of course, that is pretty big that was promised in iOS 17 and now available here uh, in 17.2 and macOS 14.2 here is contact key verification. So contact verification codes basically allow you to identify uh, people that you are messaging. So just a way to kind of add another step of kind of assurance and security that you're actually talking to who they say there are so uh, that's a pretty important feature that was added here into the messages app let's talk about the weather application so the weather application has gotten several changes here uh, we saw all these on ios as well but when you take a look at it here on the mac you now have uh, those same features uh, here in the weather application so let's see if it can figure out my location i don't think it's actually going to because i don't see a little icon up there in the top right okay so i'm not sure what is going on with my uh weather app but my location is clearly not working but anyways we can show you here some of the new features here in the weather app so first thing is first here you now have precipitation amounts which help you know the rain or total snow on any given day so we can click on a day so how about we just click on today and then we can see down here the precipitation totals we can also see the chance of precipitation so you can see that for any day that you choose so you can see last 24 hours we've had no rain but then also the next 24 hours it expects 0.1 inches of rain so you can now see different totals uh, for each different day here. Also, there is a new wind map. So the wind map snapshot helps you quickly access wind patterns. And you can also uh, see the map, uh, like I said, for that. Also, there is a cool new kind of moon calendar thing. I'm sure they added that in here. Yeah, so you can click right there. 
and you can see exactly what the moon is going to look like on any given day. So you can click on that, you can see what it's going to look like, you can see the name of the phase, when the moon rises, when it sets. So that is pretty cool to be able to see that. Also with the weather app, there is a new weather widget which kind of gives you more detail. There's actually three uh, new weather widgets here. So here are those down here. Again, I don't know why my weather app is not functioning properly, but anyways, there's a new details, daily forecast, and then sunrise and sunset widget uh, for you here. Next thing we'll talk about here is the clock app. So something that macOS is finally getting here is the ability to run multiple timers. I don't know why it took so long, but I also don't know anybody that actually uses timers on their Mac. If you do, that's fine, but I, I just, I don't use timers here on my Mac. But anyways, we can start this timer here for 15 minutes, then we can hit add up here. Another timer, you can do the presets or you can do a custom timer. Let's do this one for 20 minutes. And then now you can see that you have multiple timers running. So that is pretty nice. Also, I already just mentioned that, but we have timer presets, like I said. So you can see that you have all these preset timers that you can click and just get one going there for you. So uh, pretty cool there. Also, there's a new recent timers. So the recent timers will pop up down here at the bottom, as you can see. So you can quickly kind of start those again. So you can see we're back here on the main screen. You could scroll down, maybe you do a 20 minute timer often. You can just click on that and you can start your timer. So clock app got several things. You can also delete these recent timers by doing that. So that's pretty nice. Next thing here is to do with Apple Music. So Apple Music now has a favorite songs playlist. So it lets you quickly find the songs that you mark as favorites. Now I tell you guys this all the time, I don't use Apple Music, so I really can't show you this, but it'll obviously appear over here in your playlist uh, if you use Apple Music. So that's pretty handy. Also with Apple Music, you now have the ability to use listening history so that can be disabled in a focus. So your music you listen to does not appear in your recently played or influence your recommendation. So you can now basically have on your different focus modes the ability to choose whether or not those songs are added to your recently listened music. There's also another music related feature that we now have here and that has to do with Shazam. So Shazam music recognition is now available here on the Mac. So you can quickly identify songs playing online or around you or even while you're wearing your AirPods. So you can have the ability here to show this in the menu bar. So we can put that up there. You also can show it in your control center, which is located right over here, of course. There it is down there at the bottom. So if we click on it, you can start listening and then it will listen for the song using your microphone and it will determine what it is listening to. So it came up with something random there, kind of interesting. As you can see, you can have your uh, playlist right there or the song kind of history that pops up. So that is pretty handy if you use Shazam quite often. Last thing here that we'll talk about is there are some new keyboard options so there are new languages for Sami. So there's seven additional languages that you can choose from on your keyboard. But guys, other than that, I mean, that's really everything here in macOS 14.2. Again, there's quite a new features, quite a few new features here, but you know, it's kind of just carry over from iOS that we already saw in the previous update, but that's okay. Apple just does this so they can get all their software in sync. No pun intended. But <laughs> anyways, guys, that's basically all I got for you today. I appreciate you watching the channel as always, and I will catch you all in the next video.